Are you looking for a fun and creative way to display your favorite photos? Look no further than Raspberry Pi photo frame. With its compact size and endless possibilities, the Raspberry Pi is the perfect setup for anyone who wants to display the photos of their loved ones. Let's get ready to transform your home or office space with this innovative and unique project. Let's get started. The digital photo frame we make is very basic which rolls through any number of pictures in the folder and works completely offline. Connecting to services such as Google Drive and Flickr will be dealt in the upcoming videos. Stay subscribed. In this tutorial, I am having a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus powered by a power adapter. Having a 16 gigs of memory card running Raspberry Pi OS and it is connected to internet over Wi-Fi. Let's connect the Pi to monitor through a HDMI cable and let's do the basic setup. Firstly, we want to prevent the screen from going blank. It is a power saving setting on a every Raspberry Pi. To turn off the screen blanking, open up the light DM config file in the nano text editor. Add this X server command line below the seat configuration. Save and exit by pressing Ctrl O and Ctrl X. Now reboot the Pi. Now the screen should no longer switch after 10 minutes of inactivity. If you want to drag and drop your images onto the Pi, you might want to copy paste from any USB device or download the images from the internet. I also highly recommend that you set up SSH so you will have a remote access when the slideshow is in action. There is no easy way to exit the slideshow unless you turn on or turn off the device. To set up our slideshow, we are going to use FEH package. FEH is an image viewer and cataloger. It is a fast image viewer that doesn't get bogged down with the huge graphical user interface dependencies. I chose this as it was one of the most lightweight package that worked without any huge complications. To install the package, use the following line. Enter the below line to begin the photo slideshow. Type the directory that contains all your image. In our case, it is slash home slash pi slash pictures. Here you go. All pictures from the folder will run like a slideshow. We don't want to run the command every time we restart pi. So let's automatic this process by creating a script. Now let's copy the command from video description. Now we can use short tags to make this command as a lot shorter. Q means quiet which doesn't report errors when something is not loading. P means preload. This option would load all images at first and eliminate any images which can't be loaded. Z means randomize. It randomizes all the images before displaying. F means full screen. Larger images will be scaled down to fit the screen. 
R means reload. It reloads the file list every X seconds. Here FEH package reloads every 60 seconds and it looks for new or removed images from the file list. Y means hide the pointer or cursor. D means a slideshow delay. It waits X seconds before automatically changing the picture. In our case, we want a picture to change every 15 seconds. You can go through more options on FEH package and the link is mentioned in the description below. Now that's done, you can test it by running the following command. Finally, let's have the script start at every boot. To do this, open up the RC local file by enter the following command. Add the following before the exit 0 line in this folder. You should now have your very own slideshow of pictures going on. Now let's connect the Raspberry Pi to LCD display and see how it works. The Raspberry Pi has a small connector for a 15 pin ribbon cable which supports the display serial interface. And this allows a high speed communication between the LCD screen. At the moment, the best display to use with this connector is the official Raspberry Pi 7 inch touchscreen which supports a 10 point capacitive touch. Connecting up the display is fairly straightforward. It is designed so that the Pi can be mounted on the back of it with all the cables tucked away nicely and neatly. To connect to a display, follow these steps. Make sure Raspberry Pi is powered off before wiring. To avoid any damages to electronic board, attach the Raspberry Pi board to the back of the display using the screws and standoffs provided. Carefully connect the ribbon cable to both the Pi board and display control board noting the orientation of the ribbon cable pin. Don't break it. Be sure to carefully release the tabs on either side of the socket which allows the cable to slide in all the way then secure it by pressing down on the tabs until they lock in. You shouldn't have to force the cable. To power the display, you can do one of the following. Connect the red and black jumper wires from 5V and ground terminal of the Pi to the control board. Wiring is as shown in this picture. Once you reboot Pi, you should see your very own photo frame going on. Now let's check some of the issues I have faced while doing this project. The first issue, sometimes Raspberry Pi may not display anything on the screen, in which case you will need to use an existing HDMI cable to update your Raspberry Pi. Make sure the Raspberry Pi is running the latest version of Raspbian and then reboot once. Another common issue where people get while trying this project is picture appearing upside down. So how to rotate the screen? It is simple. Go to menu, look for the screen configuration, change the orientation, click apply. Issue 3. If you think Raspberry Pi is frozen because of this package and if you want to close this application, you will need to kill the process by simply entering the following command. Kindly SSH to your Pi and use the command to kill the process.
I hope your photo frame is working correctly. If you have any trouble or have an extension that you would like to share, please leave your comments below. As always, if you like my stuff, please follow my YouTube channel. Until next time, check out my other videos. Thank you for watching.